Hello everyone, and welcome aboard this delayed what's in the update service. Um, it's delayed because my Wi-Fi is a potato and it took forever to download everything. Actually, everything's still downloading. So yes, without further ado, let's get into what is actually in the update. Now, please note, I don't have all the routes on here yet as they uh, are still updating. Now, I've, up, I've uh, downloaded all the ones that I want to discuss and we can actually go into. Um, so first, Dresden Riser. Implemented new overhead electrification when wiring... <laughs> rendering to improve wire visibility at greater distances. Let's jump in and have a look at that. Let's go spawning on foot. Fixed a signal at Preschwitz station, remaining red and preventing further progression during the BR143 introduction. This will allow the 143km achievement to be obtainable. Oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely see the uh, the wires are over a better distance. That's, that's, that is certainly true. Um, passenger door now closes when player is seated to fix an issue that prevented the wait for the brake system to charge objective and to fix the issue for restricted movement. Prevented player being held at a red signal during the chemical plant zone scenario when proceeding past Teresa station. The train is now routed correctly. Fixed coupler issues that wouldn't let the B car couple, the coupler slash uncouple. The wagons, so the Habins, 334, Lears, Smegas and Zekans, uh, fixed an issue where it took a very long time to release the brakes for wagons and fixed an issue where the quick service reservoir would not empty when it should. So that's everything for Dresden to Riser. I'm going to come back to South Eastern High Speed. Now, Munich Augsburg or Munchen to Augsburg if you're from the Germany yeah. so moo I don't need to spawn in for this one so I'll just find the tail Munich Augsburg there we are fixed an issue which caused no further objectives to display after loading passengers at Munchen Lime on the BR 423 introduction. Added example signal images for proceed, caution, and danger to the introduction. And that's it for Munich Augsburg. New York Trenton, I'm going to come back to S Bahn Rollborg. Uh, added AI Red BR 628 services to Rollborg. Please note this requires Nidal Bahn to active, activate. Also note that it has been added to Niddletal Barn, but as a player selectable only in Scenario Planner or Free Roam. It won't substitute into the existing Niddletal Barn route for the existing 628. Link UI Strecker, I don't have it installed, it, it's still in the list of installing, but I don't need to spawn in. Scoring and medals should now be attainable in the left Rhine route introduction. Set country info correctly to Germany so it will now correctly filter. DBBR110 slash DBBR103. Updated PZB indicator controller to update the flashing state of the restricted mode correctly. Indicators in cab will now match HUD when passing over a 500Hz magnet. Updated door functionality across rolling stock to be the correct jumper cable pin set. This is for the Envargen. Updated PZB indicator controller to update the flashing state of the restricted mode clearly. Updated train lighting logic to be compatible against German, across German stock. Now I don't have a clue what that means, so I can't tell you. Sorry. Uh, same for the IC coaches with the updated train lighting logic. I don't have a clue what that means, so bear. W I'm sorry about that. Bremen Oldenburg, set country info correctly to Germany, so it will now correctly filter. The DBBR110 has the updated PZB indicators that uh, update the flashing state of the restricted mode. 
Enwagen, same as in left uh, Linky Reinstrecker with the updated PZB indicator and the train logic. The uh, wagon, so the Tadges 959 and Habins and Layers. Fixed an issue where it took a very long time to release the brakes for all wagons. Fixed an issue where the quick service reservoir would not empty when it should. Uh, Hamburg Lubeck. Uh, so, added example of signal images for proceed caution and danger in the introduction. Passenger door now closes when player is seated to prevent the, an issue that restricted movement. Fixed a problem with the door's side selection when, when used by AI or gamepad. Fixed couplet issue that would let the B car couple uncouple. Ryan Ruhr Austin. Uh, switching back to the internal camera, we now cor correctly update the engineer mode. Return to engineer, back to engineer mode objective. I don't know what he's on about there. Uh, fixed coupler issue that wouldn't let the B car coupler uncouple. I don't know what. It, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, Hapstrak of Rhein of Raw, also known as the Hentis Railroad. Uh, switching back to the oh, same as above, uh, DBBR 101, changed door logic and changed uh, compatible with other coaches. I see coaches were now open, close to the correct side. Changed coach door logic to work with other locomotives. Vectron will now open and close the correct side. I'll come back to Edinburgh, Glasgow and middle and main line because I can actually spawn in and show you that one. Um, Penn Corridor. Penn Corridor, I swear I've got it installed. There it is. Uh, Baby Bullet MP36 only. Fixed an issue which prevented service 143 on journey mode, second chapter. For the baby bullet from being completed. Good. I can finally complete that and get it over and done with. Um, fixed an issue which prevented the MP36PH-3C introduction from being completed. After being stuck at a red light. Fixed an issue causing service 227A to be held at a red signal for too long. You should now be given priority earlier and be able to make it to the first station in time. Switching back to the internal camera, we'll now correctly update the engineer, back return to engineer, back to engineer, whatever mode in the pen corridor introduction. Fixed an issue with the service 236 for baby bullet where it would derail immediately upon starting. This is for the bi-level cab car. Fixed an issue where the bi-level cab car wasn't showing up in the loco selection menu or timetable mode or in when delivery selection. So let's test that. Uh, oh, there's, oh, hello. There's two timetables now. That's cool. That is cool. There we are. We can now select it. That's good. That's cool. We've got two timetables now. Oh, I did say that. Boston Providence. Fixed an issue which prevented the cold as ice scenario from being completed due to a red light stopping you from entering Boston Station. Oh, man. I hope to fix that so we can gold it. I'm going to try it in a bit. Amtrak seller Fixed an issue where that caused dynamic braking to delay releasing when going from cruise control. Brake performance will now start to degrade in high wetness and low temperatures. Reduce the power of the rear static brakes applied when MCB is opened based on the data from beta testers. Horse poo curve. Um, updated menu thumbnails to use key art of the route. Fair enough. 
Reduce size of thumbnail images to save on memory and improve memory performance. Portage process and Altoona alignment scenario should no longer crash when loading. Please note this is Xbox One and Epic Games only. And added resume last played image. Castle Versberg. Uh, improved trees and foliage across the route to appear correct all, all times of day and weather. Minor improvements to the doppelcock. Uh, adjustments to physics to reduce tendencies for stuck brakes on longer trains. This low lock BR182 minor physics adjustment. This is for the wagons. Uh, reduce the brake pipe length. Fixed an issue where the quick service reservoir would not empty when it should. Fixed an issue where it took a very long time to release the brakes for all wagons. And the swaggers fixed a couple of issues that wouldn't, yeah. This is for the uh, Norfolk Southern Heritage Collection that we got for Horseshoe Curve. Added specific numbers for each heritage unit. Let's have a look at that. What do I like? Which one did I like? I liked... Um... Oh, what did I like? I like that one. Fixed. Updated all scenarios to use specific RVMs for locos rather than generic central one. Fixed spelling errors in Galitzin around scenario description. <laughs> Fuck me, that's loud. So you can see the numbers there. For the ES, ES44AC2. Achievement on ups. Um, updated position of second and third main camera positions to match the height of engineer position following community feedback. Fixed nose data panel on all locomotives from showing ES44AC4 as a mod type. Fixed overly shiny polish look at the locos. Altoona alignment scenario. Set AI train to pass without stopping during the service. Fixed issues with certain track. Switching objectives to set them to operate automatically. Set weather to be constant sunny sky instead of dynamic weather. Added missing 8114 locomotive to the lineup. Removed static models of locomotives from sidings around Junior Works. The DBPBZFA introduction. Players should now be able to drive the locomotive and complete the tutorial. LGV and Metatron. Spawn on foot in Marseille, St. Hutter's Field. Implemented new overhead electrification rendering to improve wire visibility at greater distances. Which uh, is true. You can see that in effect here. Added example of signal images to proceed caution danger to the introduction. There's the mastery, there's the red cherries I suppose. Nice. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Da -da -da. Da 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 You're a good kitty cat. Uh, Rosa Linie. Rosa Linie. Which, no, I don't think anybody plays anymore. Um, the objective to contact the signal will now appear and the TIS the season scenario can be successfully completed. Implementing translations for new contact signal text. Northern Transpennoin! Go away. Uh, come on. Uh, so in the Red Bank scenario, Red Bank rotation, they've swapped out Swap the class 45 for a class 47 on the Red Bank rotation scenario. 
to prevent the out of service train error whilst coupling. I never had a problem, so uh, fair enough. Oh yeah, we can't. Uh, we don't start there, do we? Never mind. <laughs> Luzerne, Sersey. Set country inflow correctly to Switzerland. Colne, Arken. Fix the stop at location objective disappearing during the BR442 Talent 2 introduction. Addy to resume last play image. DB187 adjustments to traction motor and transformer sounds. Ah, I don't like the new sounds. They're terrible. Um, but for the for the people watching at home, I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn in and you can hear the sounds again. We can suffer together. Um, let's suffer together. So now there's just no sound when you click anything, so that's uh, terrible. RFB. Oh, if bit so I had to add that in because it doesn't say it itself. Yep. <sighs> so there's no AFB sound. No sound when you press uh, any of that. It's still way too loud. Way too loud. Way, way, way too loud. It's much nicer in the cab. As you can see, shocking. Birmingham Cross City. Talking about Birmingham Cross City. When it loads, mate. There we go. I want to go to Birmingham Cross City. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into class 323. We're going to go from Litchfield to Rend Valley to Bromsgrove. Going to load in now, mate. Set it to light clouds. So for Birmingham Cross City, we've got fixed gaps. Yeah, game went nope. Oh no, that's bad. Anyway, for Birmingham Cross City, we've got fixed gaps in the train near Litchfield, Trent Valley. <laughs> Added mastery icons, Xbox, it was already there, don't know what they mean by that. Class 323. Added clunks when the PTS and DMS cars take power. Adjusted interior and exterior cab lighting from community feedback. Prevented the emergency bypass switch from isolating the AWS and TPWS system. Added missing SWSR operator logo to the class 323 on train selection. Connected safety systems isolated light to emergency bypass switch traction isolation switch and Pascom isolation switch. That's a mouthful, folks. Jolly holiday. So, <laughs> this is funny, this bit. So, uh, imagine this. It's December 2022. And uh, a certain 
Holiday Express releases. And in the month of September 2023, this piece of DLC gets updated. A Christmas DLC getting updated in autumn. Yes, very good. Anyway, Christmas tree lights should now correctly be off when the cables aren't plugged in. Made it easier to unload cargo from the flat car. Interior lights of the caboose now have functionality. General improvements to fix various collision issues as well as a job. It crashed again. This isn't going well, is it? No. Um, uh, players should no longer be able to walk through paintings. This isn't Super Mario 64. That's a throwback. Adjusted draw distance for player lifts on console. Remove the Holiday Express F7 Loco and Wagons from substituting into other routes. Removed invisible wall in batteries not included scenario preventing player movement. For the old spirit of steam, fixed an issue where an objective object failure error message comes up when attempting to reverse the loco onto the timetable in the timetables of turn scenario. Increased increased brake force of coaches to bring in line with reality. Tail lamps now appear on services. The island line Fixed missing objective to contact the signaller in finishing the owl scenario. Reduced size of thumbnail image to save on memory and improve memory performance. Added resume last played image. The class 484 skin. Adjusted screen brightness and minor texture improvements. This is for the uh, Legends of the Great Western uh, pack. BR Mark II fixed seats so you can now sit in them. West Somerset Railway added missing difficulty rating to class 09 in reduction. Long Island Fail Road players should now be able to progress after the objective to press Y to change between cameras on the Long Island Fail Road in reduction. Xbox One only. Do the Harlem line. The shutdown set the marker lights to on objectives should get completed only when the player meets the expected criteria on the peak performance scenario. Michael Kane Creek moved various rock formations from clipping onto the track. Gloss up line added a fix to, added a fix to prevent service running late from ending up stuck. Fixed the priority seat label being incorrectly mirrored. Baker bore line fixed an incorrect button being displayed to decrease traction brake control in the 72 stock introduction. PlayStation only. Uh, passenger door now closes when the player is seated to prevent to fix an issue that prevented the wait for the brake system to charge the objective and to fix an issue that restricted movement. Union Pacific Heritage Pack boringness. The Sherman Hill Old Hat Trophy should now be unlockable on PlayStation 5 only. Brighton Mainline. Players can now climb the platforms at Clapham Junction. Reinstated platform warm F off indicator at East Croydon. Regenerated track as far as Clapham Junction. I don't know what that means. Calf cart circle. The driver will now correctly be textured in the class 314 services. And finally, West Cornwall Loco. Loco. Updated class 150 and the class 37 5 names to have correct detailed descriptions. Now, Midland Main Line. Let's go back to that and the other things that I'm going back to. Right, so Midland Main. Uh, where are you, Midland Main? There you are. Driving past Montserrat with a green signal head should no longer cause TPWS activation. Fixed TPWS, so it only activates in matching travel train travel direction. Removed buffers at Montserrat reception line that were blocking the route and causing a collision which prevented players from progressing further. Let's spawn in at... No. East Midlands Parkway. I want to try something. <laughs> route art. 
Removed West Midlands branding from signage. Improved station platform numbering signs to improve representation of the route. 158 is somewhere I can hear you. That side. Oh, it's there. Um, improved textures of the Ratcliffe Power Station cooling towers. Eastcroft Depot sign, Signal Gantry, Trent River Viaduct, and the general track. Oh yeah, that's that's new track ballast. That that's actually new ballast. Oh, that's nice. Updated PIS at all stations to correctly display the uh, operating services. So let's go and have a look at that. That is a, that is new that is new ballast. Let's find the PIS. There we are. Cool. There we go, the bonnie Scotland, laddie. Bonnie Scotland. Now we've got a bony Scotland. <laughs> Where is it? Um, where is it? Bear with. It definitely should be there, but anyway. Uh, adjusted and refreshed HISM pillar draw distance at Waverley Station. Added missing wires at Edinburgh Park Station under the overbridge. A certain person from Taronga would like that. Actually, no, probably not. Uh, driver should now appear in the cab when AI is driving the train. Added missing wires at Haymarket Station on the end of platforms 3 and 4. Added missing wires at Edinburgh Park on the end of the platforms. Approve, improved HISM benches and bins. Draw distance at Waverley. Station updated menu thumbnails to use the key art of the route. Improved consistency. And that, folks, is crash number three of this, for fuck's sake. Uh, improved consistency of how auto announcer functions. Changed text from locked to off on the final objective of the class 385 introduction. Fixed class 337, for God's sake, 37 stopping in platform before player train has arrived. This will prevent a red signal issue. Brighten lights around Haymarket Station and increased emissive strength. Class 385 removed additional seat sockets and virtual destinations should now display correctly. But absolutely nothing on sounds or physics which actually need to fix more. Just saying. New York Trenton. Scoring and medals should now be obtainable in the New York Trenton route introduction. Added more stations to the scenario designer. Added virtual destinations to all New Jersey Transit and LIRR trains. Added static stock to the Newark and Croxton Yards as well as some AI freight services between bridges that cross the main line. 
Fixed an issue where the player would spawn randomly on foot when trying to load the ME02 service. Various improvements to signals. Updated timetable and added a reduced version. I will get into that later. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on all the new services and what we can expect and all that jazz. And now for the main event when it loads I actually want to load in and show you this stuff fixed and issues this is for southeastern high speed fixed an issue causing players to spawn on foot randomly when starting various services good fixed an issue preventing passengers from boarding locos at Higham station it's crashed again has it has it crashed What's going on? I don't know. Um, fixed vehicle. Yeah, it's crash. That is crash number four. Crash number four. Um, fixed vehicles numbers being incorrect after returning from a save game using the class three nine five. Fixed the button icon for the direct brake in a class sixty six introduction. Fixed an issue where two root introductions were visible. Fixed a crash where loading in servant services on the Xbox. Added an, a reduced timetable for better performance on lower spec hardware. Uh, you can find more information on that elsewhere because it's not we're getting held back. But you know, class four six five dash nine. Connected safety systems isolated light. To emergency bypass switch, traction isolation switch, and vigilance isolation switch. Don't know what that means. Uh, train doors should now correctly open and close as intended with hotkeys. <laughs> There's been loads of route scenery updates that I want to load in to show you if it flipping lets me. Here we go. So, on stations between uh, Rainham and Dart, let's spawn in at Rainham because there's something I want to show you at Rainham. Um, yeah, we go full because I'm on the best machine ever. Oh, pardon me, folks. So we're here at Rain. Um, as you can see, the uh, Thames Link stopping boards have been added between Rainham and Dartford. So we've got the uh, the the boards there. We've also got new stopping boards. Uh, what you call conventional stopping boards. Um, so yeah, you've got your six car. Well, I don't know any six car services that run this way. Eight and twelve. Or we'll be down at the end. This uh, platform zero now has a board, a CIS board. Um, added DOO monitors, which is driver only operation monitors, um, onto the route. Reminder that a stopping board changes are visual only and may not represent where the timetable instructions tell you to stop. And markers are placed based on where research slash knowledge shows them to be from the past few years. More recent changes like the moved Thameslink board at Strood Platform Station 2 is not represented. Uh, added CIS boards 
at Rain on Platform Zero, which I've just shown you. Now let's go to Ashford. Go spawn at Ashford. So we spawn on foot Ashford. Yes, yeah, spawn Ashford International about seven. Uh, added extra scenery items at Ashford Depot, including depot protection system lights. So we're going to check that out. Uh, anything else for Ashford? Ah, yes. I've just... Just go over here. That's a sugar. So, is this the fenced off footbridge? No, we can't. Oh, can we not? I don't. Okay. Um, added a prompt to bypass and access the fenced off footbridge at Ashford. Did you? Where's the prompt? Why can't I get in it? Oh. oh, oh, okay, um, well that didn't work, so PIS is now working, okay, that's nice to see, Ashford, Fixed invisible walls which blocked on for Ashford Depot movement. Oh, of course you'd turn up. Where is this footbridge then? Is it back here? Am I in a totally wrong area? Yeah, this looks possible. Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, ha ha! There we go. Can't go there though. That's a shame. Don't know how we're meant to go to the depot then. Ah, okay. So how the heck we went to get to the de into the depot? I know. Seems we're going on a journey, folks. Welcome to the depot. So we now got these. The uh, new assets, uh, which is cool. We've also got new lighting in the depot. Where's that? One? <laughs> Brilliant. Um, fixed a misplaced asset, which is covering tracks outside Ashford. Fixed instances of passengers not boarding and alighting trains at the Highham station. Fixed invisible walls which blocked on foot at Ashford Depot movement. Plus some new Easter eggs. Can you find our new cats? Embark on some Valley Few finding to pass the time. Interesting. Master the Meta is Train's Inception. I want to check out uh, a couple of locations. So I need to go to Who Junction, Strood, Gillingham Depot. 
and St Pancras. So let's do that now. So, um, added missing foliage at Springhead Junction where HS1 joins the North Kent line. Added missing feeder substation at Springhead Junction. Added lighting and some gantry assets around two junction and star fault. So I'm going to look at that in a minute. Added missing 15 and 20 miles per hour speed boards at Rochester Bridge Junction. Uh, improved lighting at Gillingham and Hashford depots as well as Faversham sidings. Improved the look of North Fleet Station. So let's have a look at that now. North Fleet. Um, improved the, yeah replace container crane snare perfectly on hs1 with buses as per reality replaced the high-rise buildings at hs1 medway viaduct with more reasonable alternative and yes so oh yes Northfleet. oh that looks a lot better Northfleet. yeah mm. that looks a lot better by a lot that's really good nice so if I go to main menu let's go to who 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 Uh, who junction? Whose junction is it anyway? So we go who? Strood. Gillingham Depot. And St Pancras. And that's all the patch notes. I hope you're keeping tally because that's crash number five. Crash number five. It's just not good enough, is it really? You know, new game comes out and it's crashing left, right and centre. Just absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, but it is.
Right guys, I'm going to give up. Uh, it keeps crashing. It's 6 or 7 right now, so I uh, hope you're having a good day and uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.